What's up, everybody? How's everyone doing tonight? Yes, this is the sexy part of the show. <laughs> Building my self-esteem. Hey, don't, don't worry about the gloves. I'm not some kind of creep. I had a little allergic reaction. Didn't want anyone to think I was contagious, so don't worry. You know, you see random people in gloves. You think they're like molesters. <laughs> no, really, when I see people on, with, well, they have like gloves on during the day and it's hot outside, what are you doing with those? Like, what do you need protection from? Because they're grabbing ass out of the streets, so that's why. Anyways, I love television. Anybody you both in here like TV? No? You like it? I fucking love DVR. I thank God for that shit every day. I don't know how anyone ever finished an episode of anything without DVR, so it's one of the things that at night I thank Jesus for. But uh, I love these new shows, especially Honey Boo Boo. Like, nah, really, that's my shit. Y'all better red recognize. That's my, that's my redneck accent. It's not that good, but it's not as easy as you think. But uh, Honey Boo Boo is like the great equalizer show for me because I watch it with my family. I live with... Um, I live with Anglo-Saxons. Uh, <laughs> I mean, the same way y'all don't be knowing whether to call us blacks or Africans Americans. I don't be knowing sometimes. I don't want to offend anyone. We just be like white people. So I live with, I live with white people. That's what they are. So you know, I, my my brother, we watch the show together, and he fucking hates it. And he sits there, and he's like. Fucking hate this show, these fucking rednecks, man. People are gonna think we're all like that. They're gonna think that we all have someone in our family like that. <laughs> now, my ass is in the corner smiling like the fucking Grinch. Like, welcome to my world, motherfucker. Race is a motherfucker, ain't it? And it's funny, because when things happen, he always acts like it's the first time it's ever happened. Like, black people have been going through this shit for years. Like. It's just, it happens. Welcome to my world. Thank you very much. But um, Honey Boo Boo's great. Like I said, it's the great equalizer. I mean, Cops kind of is, but I call Cops like a, a race-shaming show. Because it, it shames all the races. It shames black people, white people, Mexicans, dogs, cats, children. <laughs> cops don't give a fuck. You make them mad, everybody's going in the fucking grass. It don't matter. But Honey Boo Boo is great. And um, you see, there's, there's another show. Because it's weird to me, because it's like Jersey Shore's out, the Guidos are gone, so it's like, bring in the fucking rednecks. Let's just make a time of it. There's a new show on MTV, it's called like Bucket, or some shit like that. And it's basically like the, the redneck version of Jersey Shore, except I think they might be a little bit smarter. <laughs> but it's a great show, too. And, um, fuck, I'm losing my train of thought up here. <laughs> it's the gloves, I tell you, I just want to touch someone. <laughs> No, all these shows are great, and you know when when he's mad, it makes me happy. I really do feel joy in his his anger because now he knows how I feel when we're watching the first 48 together. Let me give you an example. There's an African African American woman, and she's in there. They're trying to take her son away for something that he did, and she's sitting there. And she's like, Officer, I don't know where my son is because I kicked him out in the streets like two weeks ago, and I ain't seen him since. I swear it. I ain't raised him to be no street thug like this. I know his daddy wasn't around or nothing, but I promise you, this ain't the way I raised him. Because the streets is where I did not want him to be, Ossifer. <laughs> now, you guys are getting me, but I'm not making this shit up. This happened. And I'm sitting there just angry as a motherfucker, mad, stewing, and he's laughing. So, of course, I'm over there mad. And I'm like, man, I hate this fucking show. People gonna think we all like that. People gonna think somebody in my family's like that. But the thing about it is, shit, there is somebody in my family like that. I mean, let's keep it real. There is, there's somebody in my family out there right now, probably like, hey, nigga, you gonna hang out on the streets or what? Just deal with it. There's probably someone in his family who just stopped on the road, like, hey, this is roadkill. We got dinner for tonight. Sometimes you just have to learn to deal with what you have. <laughs> There's another show that I fucking love, and Michelle kind of touched on it, Catfish. You ever watched that show? You've seen Catfish before? Well, if you haven't, it's about two people. One of them is possibly retarded, and the other one is just a creepy fucking weirdo. Because come on now, you can't talk to somebody for two years and not Skype with them or talk to them on the phone. 
If you haven't even had a phone conversation with this person, you're stupid as fuck. Come on now. If you're over the age of three years old, you can fucking use Skype. And it's crazy because these guys come and they help them. And it's like, they're using things that are available to you every fucking day. So how could you not figure out in two years that the person that you were talking to was someone else? Like this new episode was awesome to me because it was like this guy and he's looking for a girl, but he ends up finding a girl who's a tranny, a transsexual. You know what that is, it's a woman with a penis. <laughs> he finds her, he's telling his friends like, you know, I'm okay with it, I, I'm just gonna have to see what it's like to be with this man woman. Then he gets to her and she's like, guess what, I'm not really a tranny, I'm just a woman. And you know, I'm thinking like, yes, he has a real woman. He should be so fucking excited, like, yeah. And he's like, oh, you're a woman. And he seems so sad that it wasn't a man. So I mean, I think they should hire me on because I figured it out way before. He was looking for someone with a penis. And now I feel bad because he's not getting the dick that he wanted. <laughs> Anyways. That was fun. That's my time. I'm Pete Anderson. Yeah. 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 Yeah.